Hello, welcome to the weekly technical analysis review here at XM.com. I'm Rafi Boyajan, currency analyst, and today is Monday, May the 21st. The pairs we're going to be looking at for this week are the dollar yen, the euro dollar, the pound yen, and the dollar loonie. We're going to start first with dollar yen. We can see that the pair is currently trading uh, near four months highs at around uh, 111.30 at the moment. It earlier touched a high of 111.39. Uh, momentum is clearly to the upside. RSI uh, has crossed into overbought uh, territory that perhaps is an indication that uh, the current rally is becoming overstretched and prices could soon reverse lower uh, but for now um we're seeing um, strong upside momentum uh, with resistance likely to come from the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement of the downlink from 111.38 to 100, 204.62. Uh, Above that region, uh, the next resistance is likely to come from the strong psychological 112 level. Uh, that area was an, in fact a strong support level back in December and could now become a strong uh, resistance uh, barrier should prices continue to, to drive upwards. Uh, if we do see prices extend their gains above the 112 uh, level, we could uh, finally see the 50-day moving average um, uh, making a, a, a bullish uh, crossover with a 200-day uh, moving average one and shift the medium-term outlook to more decisively a bullish one. Uh, at the moment, 50-day moving average is still some distance from 200-day moving average, uh, so it is so that bullish structure is still uh, in uh, formation. Uh, to the downside, if we do see a downside uh, correction, we're likely to see support coming from around 110.75. That had been a congestion area in the past. Below that we have the 61.8% Fibonacci at uh, at the 110 level uh, and that is also where the 200 day moving average is currently flatlining around. Uh, so that potentially is a strong uh, support area sh should we see a downside move. Uh, below that we have the 50% Fibonacci at 109. A drop below 109 would um, shift the focus back to the downside uh, and also erase the current uh, positive uh, bias uh, in the medium term, uh, in the near term. Uh, let's now turn to euro dollar. Uh, so the pair is still looking fairly uh, bearish uh, in the near term. RSI has now crossed into oversold uh, territory below 30. Uh, so perhaps uh, the current sell-off is coming to an end and we could soon see uh, an upside reversal. Uh, we, we do have uh, support coming from 1.1717. Uh, that was a strong level from, from uh, support level from back in uh, December. Uh, prices today touched an intraday low 1.1716. Uh, so a breach of that support level uh, could then take prices towards 1.1553, which was the low from back in November. Uh, and that would also potentially uh, force a bearish crossover of the 50-day moving average with the 200-day moving one. Uh, and we could see uh, the, uh, the medium-term structure uh, becoming uh, clearly uh, a, a bearish one. At the moment the medium term structure uh, is uh, neutral to bearish so it is becoming increasingly bearish as the downtrend continues. Uh, at the moment uh, upside uh, attempts are being capped by the 78.6% Fibonacci uh, retracement uh, of that uplek up from 1.1553 to 1.2550 uh, for that's run 1.1770 a uh, break about 1.1770 would then uh, take prices towards uh, 1.1825 uh, so that had been support level in the past uh, back in December and also back in April as well around uh, early May around 1.1822 so that could now become a strong uh, resistance level a break of that level would take prices towards the 61.8% Fibonacci at 1.1935. That would help ease the downside pressure, uh, but really in order to see a halt to the current uh, sell-off, we would really need to see a euro dollar uh, climbing back about the 50% Fibonacci retracement at around 1.2055. Uh, our next pair is uh, pound yen. Uh, the pair has met strong resistance uh, at 
the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement of the down leg from 1.53. 0.84 to 147.04. Uh, it's also that Fibonacci level is just below the 50 day moving average at around 149.80. Uh, prices did uh, drift lower after coming just shy of the 150 level at a two week high. Uh, so clearly a strong resistance level there. A successful bridge uh, of that resistance area would take prices towards the 50% Fibonacci at 150.44. A break above 150.44 would shift the focus for pound yen uh, back to the upside uh, and uh, we could then see 61.8% Fibonacci level at around 151.24 coming uh, into scope. To the downside uh, we do have support coming from the 23.6% Fibonacci uh, level at 148.64. Uh, a drop below that level though uh, would risk taking prices towards uh, the long-term ascending trend line. So that long-term ascending trend line has been in place since the spring of 2017. A breach of that uh, long-term trend line uh, could signal a shift to more uh, bearish outlook both in the medium term and in the much more uh, longer term as well. In the medium term prices have been consolidating since the beginning of the year uh, but clearly uh, the risks are tilted uh, to the uh, downside. Our final pair for today uh, is the Canadian uh, is the US dollar versus uh, the uh, Canadian dollar. We have seen some volatility uh, for the pair despite the fact that they've pr pretty much been uh, moving sideways. Uh, prices did go from a seven week high 1.2997 uh, to a three week low 1.2728 uh, in early May. Uh, so dollar Looney has since recovered to around uh, 1.2 2860. Uh, we have very strong resistance at the 61.8% Fibonacci of the downlink from 1.3124 to 1.2527. So uh, around 1.29, uh, there is a very strong uh, upside barrier. Uh, prices have failed several times to close above that level. They did manage to close above that level once uh, in uh, early May, but then we saw prices uh, moving back below that level once again. Uh, if we do see another uh, attempt above it, uh, that would help prices uh, come closer to the 1.30 level. That's the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement. A, back, uh, a break above 1.30 uh, could help shift the medium term outlook back to a more uh, bullish one at the moment. The medium term picture uh, is looking rather neutral and so is the short term bias as well. RSI has been hovering around the 50 neutral level uh, for uh, for some time now. Uh, immediate support to the downside is uh, around 1.2825. That's the 50% Fibonacci retracement uh, and is also where the 50-day moving average uh, has currently uh, converged towards. A breach of that key support area um, would uh, could send prices towards the uh, bottom of the recent range uh, at around 1.2755, that's the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement. A breach of that uh, support level at 1.2755 uh, would then shift the focus uh, back to the downside uh, and turn the near-term bias uh, to a bearish one. At the moment though, it's looking very uh, neutral. That's it from me. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.